one of the things that came out today was Game Manual Part 1, and there are some major changes um, to not having alliance flags, uh, small modifications to the tiebreaker point system, and they're adding human players in FTC. What do you guys think about these changes that they've made? Anybody? Uh, so I think I think it'll be interesting since they, uh, especially the human player part. I think that's going to be the most game changing part, especially since uh, this could mean a variety of things. It could mean loading stations or even something else entirely. We'll just have to see when the entire game comes out. But I think this could be that's probably the most uh, different thing that we could should look forward to in seeing and reading more about in game manual part two, especially. Yeah, I think. Um... One of the things with human players is it can add an element of strategy which could both help and hurt teams. Um, right. I know in FRC when they release Steamworks and they had the human players on the field, the teams that could practice the human players were often better than the teams that weren't as practiced. Right. Um, and what do and you guys think about the Alliance flags? Alliance flags should make it a little bit more interesting and makes it a little less annoying for teams to have to sort of restock that flag every time and having, you know, having that issue at competitions, but I think not having flags is, is it's sort of an interesting change to see on the game. Yeah, and especially since some of the flags on certain teams are sort of hidden sometimes, I think having the uh, square and the circle being at least two inches uh, is going to be very visible so we know exactly which robot is which, which alliance is made up of what teams. So I think that's going to be another cool addition to the robot. They also like tweak TBP a little bit and like they added the average RP. I think that's also like pretty interesting, like as a change. Like it'll be like a like it'll drop the lowest TBP from the from like your match, like from your five or like nine matches. I think that's gonna be like a pretty nice change. That just like eliminates like if you have like a really bad match, but like you've played like if, you, if your opponents have like a really bad match, but you've played like a otherwise hard match schedule and like punish you for that one like really, really easy match that you had. Exactly. I, th I think it does balance some stuff out. I think it's a good addition to the tiebreaker points. We'll just have to see how it really plays out this season, though. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think um, for the TBP, one of the things that it really helps with is actually just figuring out how alliances are going to stack up before everybody's played their final match. Since they're averaging out their score like they do in FRC, they're actually going to know um, what rank you are based on the number of matches you've played, not based off of the total number of matches you played. So it makes it a lot easier for teams to be scouting out and figuring out how a line selection might go down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, any other thoughts on Game Manual Part 1? Um, I thought it was interesting. They're giving yellow cards for being on the wrong Wi-Fi channel. Uh, yeah. That was pretty strict, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's a little bit of an... We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.